So I welcome those of you online. Let's start our topic today, wisdom for total turnaround from 1 Kings chapter 3. From verse 3 to verse 15. Let's, all, let's, let's study it. I want you to open your Bible. 1 Kings chapter 3 from verse 3. I took first part of it in the uh, online prayer meeting this morning. Let's all go there. 1 Kings chapter 3. I don't just want to read it all through. I want us to take it one after the other from verse uh, 3 to verse 15. 1 Kings, are you there? Now they will, they will project. Thank you. It's on screen as well. I read from verse 3, 1 Kings chapter 3. Now look at this. The Bible says, And Solomon loved the Lord, walking in the state status of David his father. Only he sacrificed and burnt incense in high places. Verse 4, And the king went to Gibeon to sacrifice there, for there was the great high place. A thousand, listen to this, a thousand burnt offerings did Solomon offered upon the altar. Now look at where we started. And Solomon loved the Lord. And look at another verse we saw. And he offered unto the Lord a thousand bond offerings. You know, I've taught, always told you here that we give to God not because we have. We give to God because we love him. Amen. So if you see anyone giving in abundance, maybe giving money, giving his dance, giving his time, giving his talent. You know, it's not only money you give to God. Giving his talent and he's giving that talent and time as though that's the only thing he has come to the earth to do. It's not because, uh, he, because he has it in abundance. It's because he loves God. That's why any giving that is not prompted from the love of God will not reach God. Did you hear me? Giving should not be done by force. Any giving that is not prompted by the love. Now, if you are in the choir, make sure you are there because you love God. If you are in the ushering, make sure you are there because, see, if you don't love God, eh, the things you will see in that department is enough to discourage you. Now, if you ask the ushers, I've seen more than enough. Where at times you will try to usher somebody to a seat and they will look at you and say, are you okay? You know? And you are looking at the person saying, are you okay? It's not even up to the last born of your, of your family. So if you don't, if if your service to God is not prompted by love, number one, you get discouraged easily, and number two, that service to God will not even reach God. So Solomon offered a burnt offering, now a thousand burnt offering. Now in verse five, in Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, "Ask what I shall give thee." Can you see? He offered one thousand burnt offering in the morning. Now look at how it started. Solomon loved the Lord. He offered bond offering, 1,000 bond offering in the morning. And at that same night, what happened? The Lord appeared to him. It means that the offering he gave to God reached God. Because it was done from the heart of love. Why do you do what you do? I'm only branching, but we are not yet there. But what I'm asking, why are you doing what you are doing? If whatever you are doing in the house of God is for the pastor to see you, you have missed it too. Or you are just doing it because you want to impress somebody. It must be done from what? The love of God. You must love God. So the Lord appeared to him and said, Solomon, you know what? You've given me a thousand burnt offering in the morning. Now I've come in the night to ask you. Ask me for anything. Now that's where we are now going. And Solomon said, verse 6, Thou hast shown unto thy servant. You have shown unto thy servant, David, my father, great mercies. May God show you great mercies. According as he walked before thee in truth and in righteousness, and in uprightness of art, God did not just dash him great mercy. So the Bible says he walked with God in truth. He walked with God with the uprightness of his heart. Now, and let's move on. Thou hast kept for, for, uh, for him his great kindness that thou had given him a son to sit on his throne. As it is this day. I'm praying for somebody on the sound of my voice. God bless you with children that will succeed you. Children that will be doing exploits in your lifetime. In the name of Jesus. Verse 7. And now, O Lord, my God, thou hast made thy servants king instead of David my father. And I am but a little child. I know not how to go out or to come in. Verse 8. This is where I'm going. I'm, and verse 9. And thy servant is in the midst of the people which thou art chosen. A great people that cannot be numbered 
for uh, uh, nor counted for multitude. But look at verse 9. Look at his request. God said, ask me of anything. Solomon now said, give therefore thy servants an understanding heart to judge thy people that I may design between good and bad. For who is able to judge this so great a people? Verse 10. And the speech pleased God. Eh? God was happy for what Solomon asked for. And what did he ask for? He said, give me the heart that understands. To the point that when I see good and I see bad, I'll be able to know the difference between good and bad. Now, what is wisdom? Wisdom is the ability to differentiate now between a good decision and a bad one. Hello? Now, why is it that so many people crash today? Why is it that they do businesses and their money will go down the drain? Why is it that they, they take some decisions and they will eventually begin to cry? It's because they are not able to discern. So if you are asking for wisdom, you know what you are asking for? You are asking for the ability to be able to discern between good and bad. Now, and if you look at it, if you must need wisdom to discern between good and bad, it means bad can be so much packaged in such a way that without wisdom, you can't know that it's bad. Hello? Now, look at all the killings happening now. Uh, they killed this, uh, this lady who was found dead on the road. Uh, her, her body part is no longer there. This one was, the, you know, these people were tricked by people that appear to look so good. Oh, somebody left home and he didn't return. The journey looked so right. My wife was telling me one. She read on the internet. The man was to travel to UK. He had his visa and his document. He called the Uber driver to come and pick him to the airport. And the Uber driver told him, uh, uh, called him back and said, it's very quiet issue that I should book somebody else. So he decided to go take a public transport. Everybody waved him. But that's in London. Only for them to now discover some days after that his phone was dialing them. When they now picked this phone, he told them, I am somewhere out. I'm not in UK. I'm still in Nigeria. The, the vehicle I took from our house didn't go to the airport. So look at what, you know, when I, I read this place in the morning, I, I, I first used it for my morning devotion sometimes last week, but this morning I read it again. That what is the actual meaning of wisdom? It is the heart that understands and is able to discern between good and bad. And can I tell you this truth? Life will always present to you good and bad. That's why a sister will be saying, Pastor, please pray for me. I don't understand. I need to find the will of God for who to marry. Because every brother appears to be good. They will speak in tongues. They will even work in the departments in church. They may even hold microphone and begin to preach. I'm handling a case of recent. The young man is a pastor. He beat his wife like. Now they are separated now. Now the wife have told me something. I said don't worry I will see your husband. Now they are separated. She's living on her own. The husband is still pastoring the church. Was he like that before they got married? He was not like. He, he didn't appear to be like that. But the sister I believe was not able to discern. I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord baptize you with the spirit of wisdom in Jesus name. So he requested for the heart that understands to the point of being able to discern. Take note of that very well. Between good and bad and I put it in bracket wisdom is the understanding of the difference, sorry, the understand, sorry, wisdom is understanding the difference between good and bad. Now, it means that a wise person, hear me, will be able to differentiate a bad decision from a good one. A bad person from a good one. Now, that's one of the things I have discovered about wisdom. Life will present to you several options. It takes wisdom to know the right one. I always tell our young people that life will always put you at the junction of several paths, but only one is right. 
junction of, it's not even Rita Meta. Not Rita Mary. Not Rita Mefa. Thank God we have Rita Mefa Baptist Church. Not Rita Mefa. Not Rita Mefa Jogan. Life can present to you Rita 100, Rita 1000. And you'll be looking at, do I become a lawyer? Do I become a, 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 a this? Do I, you know, you'll be looking, do I become a journalist? Do I become, do I become, do I become, Lord, what, what do I, you know, that's what life will present to you. It takes wisdom. I wrote something here that I would like to read to your hearing. This is why, listen, I wrote here, this is why, where am I, where am I? This is why wise people are the ones on the top. Do you know why? Because they are wise. If something is real, there's something about that thing that they will see that others cannot see. Or should I put it this way? There's something about that thing that they will sense. But we only sense it. Wisdom makes you to seek what the right thing. If that person is wrong, there's something they will sense. That means you fake me. Fake me like that. You know, a few days ago, I invited somebody to work for us. You know, and a, the person is a carpenter. So when the person came and was making all his quotations and things like that, he said, sir, I will need two people to work with me. So he charged based on two. And he came. It was time for him to begin to work. So I came in and I sat down. And I was walk, watching the both of them as they were walk, walking. And I said, sir, I just look at the man. I said, and tell me why this person you brought is not a carpenter. The man said, Carpenter, and the carpenter called me, and he said, She carpenter. Emma Paro. You know what the first one said? The man that brought him said, And he said, Pastor. And I didn't say more than that. Then I started watching him again as they were walking. They were walking. He had agreed to the first one. I said, Brother, Brother, you don't share with him. She's not a driver anymore. Only driver driver anymore. Kabu kabu mini faults. Now, wisdom will make you see something that others are not seeing. That's why you see that wise people are always at the top. Where others are reserving their money, they will invest it. Hello. Where others are saying, let's go and put our money, let's go and put our money. Wisdom will make you like some people came to see me. You know, a woman of God, a great servant of God. Her husband happens to be my friend. She just came to see me. He said, Pastor Prince, you see this business. She started talking about the business. This business. This business. If you invest, can you come? You invest. As she was talking, I asked her two questions. She couldn't answer me. He said, let me show you proof of those who are. I said, these two questions, you can't answer me. I can't put my money in this, your business. The woman of God said, sir, somebody made can you come million. I said, see, it was not too long. I saw it again. I said, it's that business. He said, it's like, you know, you didn't want to tell me that God said you should not invest. Listen, the job that God has given wisdom to do, God doesn't need to speak about it. If you don't want to say, you don't want to you don't want to say, I need wisdom. I didn't hear you now. Say it again. So that's what I'm saying. Wisdom makes you to sense or sight something that will make you to be able to avoid the wrong choices or prompt you to make the right ones. That's why Solomon said, I need a heart that understands and that is able to discern between good and bad. I know so many of you are seated here, you have had losses in, in time past. I know some of you are regretting. You know, you know, all those things are products of lack of wisdom. But I pray in the name of Jesus from today, by the power of God's wisdom, the choices you will be making from now on will be choices that will affect you for good. Look at verse 10. God said, look at what God said in verse 10. First Kings chapter 3, and the, and the speech pleased the Lord that Solomon has asked this thing. Verse 11, and God said unto him, because thou hast asked this thing and, not, and hast not asked for thyself long life, if you are the one God ask, what do you want? I know. 
my cake sister will say a very big cake factory. Abi, at the center of uh, the city, or if possible, Lekki. Ulu afu mini le Lekki. Tima tima she cake. Bolungu is share me. Abi, that's what you ask for. I know Mr. Gongoma will be say ah Ulua kimbere unkan unkan kere ye kima lulu fun la ulu bencho ha. But God is saying to Solomon, you didn't ask for long life. Look up. Let's, let's finish it. Let's finish it. You didn't ask this. Sorry. And God said unto him, because thou hast not asked this thing and hast not asked for, thy long, for thyself long life, neither hast thou asked for riches for thyself. No, as ask for the life of thy enemies. Oh, my beautiful. Oh, the beautiful. Now, what did God now say? But as ask for thyself understanding to discern judgments. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart, so that there will be not there will be none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any like unto thee, and I shall also give unto thee that which thou have not asked. Now look up. Why did God say I will give you even the one you didn't ask? You see, everything you want in this life is inside wisdom package. Let's prove it. Number one. If you are wise, you will build. Proverbs chapter 24 verse 3. Let's be looking at those scriptures I'll be showing you. Enitoba bon ari nkonko Proverbs chapter 24 verse 3. Put it on screen for us. I want everybody to see it. Proverbs 24 and verse 3. Let's read together. One, two, and let's go. Through wisdom is what? And house built. Build, build it. Now, anything can be a house. An organization can be a house. A family can be a house. Your health can be a house. Anything that you want to build is what represents a house. You can't do it without wisdom. He, I'm telling you, so any two bag more are in concord. Okay, that's the first thing I want to show you. Number two, without wisdom, you can't make profit, which means if you have wisdom, you will make profit. Let's look at it. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 11. Ecclesiastes chapter 7. And verse 11, when you have wisdom, you will make profit. Ecclesiastes 7 11. Oh, yeah, be fast. Let's read together. One, two, and let's go. Wisdom is good with an inheritance. And by it, there is what? To them that what? If you have wisdom, you will profit. And it's about who really must be a woman really in bed. Must be business me really in bed. Molos cook who said in bed. Is that Monsieur Cusco yo, a good area yo, or bonico ma beri fun, or nothing of in really wa. Now let's go on, let's go on, let's go on. Let's let me show you number three again. Wisdom is the true source of great joy. Anywhere there's wisdom, there will be joy. Proverbs chapter three and verse 13. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 13. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 13. Look at this. Happy is the man that findeth what? I didn't hear you now. The man that findeth wisdom is happy. Why? He is able to discern between good and bad. He will avoid the bad choices, make the right choices, and you will see that he will always be happy. Let me show you one more. One more. One more. Are you said? Wisdom is what makes you to preserve your glory. And it's you, but Job chapter 39, 13 to 17. Job 39, from verse 13 to 17. Now you will see the ostrich bird that lack. Now, give it thou the goodly wings unto the peacock. Or wings and feathers unto the ostrich. The ostrich, verse, move on. Which liveth her eggs in the earth. 
the ostrich is beautiful, but it liveth at eggs in the earth, and warmeth them in the dust. Yes, move on. And forget it that the foot that the foot might crush them, or that the wild beast may break them. Obage. Now let's move on, verse 16. She is hardened against her young ones, and though they were as though they were not hers, her labor is in vain without fear. Do you know why? Show me verse 17. Because God had deprived her of what? Wisdom. So if you see anybody whose glory is wasted, it's a lack of it's a sign of lack of wisdom. So I want come be like by We we uh, uh, employ the help of one one popular man that plays one one instrument. I don't want to mention the instrument, and he plays this instrument for a very popular musician in our land. And now I was interviewing him. How much do you want us to pay you to be paying the, playing this instrument for us? I was expecting that he would mention something like. Uh, well, if I'm not going to do it for free because I'm playing for a very popular person, if I want to do it for money, maybe you pay me like 50000 you know? He says, sir, pay me like twenty. I first look at him. Because we used to see him on television. Then I noticed that before the end of the month, he has borrowed the twenty. He just for me 3000 He just for me 5000 So, to and I look at him. It's not that he packed anything outside. There's no wisdom in this guy's life. Anywhere there's no wisdom, there will not be future. I come and she said, and he didn't come to the field. I make him see it. All along, would have heard what he said. Are you hearing me? God doesn't want us, His children, to have that kind of life. Let me calculate the amount of money that has passed through my hands this month. And you are calculating, you are calculating. Ah, about 400,000, 500,000, 300,000 has passed my hand. How much do you have in your bank account? Zero. What is the new thing you have achieved that month? Nothing. My brother, you lack wisdom. The only thing that we can talk about is that you're just, you are just flushing your toilet. That's the only thing. That person is like the ostrich. He lacks wisdom. Let's move forward. We focus of our time. What can I do to gain wisdom as a child of God? You need it. Now that you know you need it, what can you do to gain it? I'll tell you three things. Number one. Do what Solomon did. Seek for wisdom from God. That's in the place of prayer. And Solomon did not only pray, what did he do? He, he loved God. He gave to God. And he prayed to God. Every time you give, ask for wisdom. Use that opportunity to ask for wisdom. One of our, our, our fathers, our mothers in faith, she said every day for one year, she was fasting. Every day for one year. And every three, three hours, nine o'clock, uh, six a.m., hear me, nine a.m., 12 noon, 3 p.m., and 6 p.m., she would go to the altar, kneel down, and say, oh God, give me wisdom. For one good year. And beloved, we saw the proof of wisdom in our life. You want wisdom? Do what Solomon did. Number two, you want wisdom? Allow yourself to be taught. See Proverbs 11.2. If you are proud, you cannot get wisdom. Proverbs 11.2. 
e ti gba pe bi bele so pe olorun o ko ira oni geraga let's read together one two and let's go when pride cometh then cometh shame but with the lowly is what is wisdom let's look at this version this verse from the amplified version and from the message bible these are more simple simple simplified bibles now this is amplified let's read together one two and let's go when swelling and pride come then emptiness and shame come also but with the humble those who are lowly who have been pruned or chiseled by, by trials mm, wait 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 you know what it means to go through trials you know wait for me here don't remove that scripture you know that thing is one of the things that happens to fresh graduates especially if you come out of university with first class the labor market is waiting for me you will have turned down so many jobs me 50,000 God forbid you say another one 60,000 God forbid Tolong ba fe humble wa bebe ko le mo pe ki se pa li to gbe lo ma la e God at times allow trials to humble us Have you not seen anointed but no members very anointed servant of God ko si member in church here so that you not be saying it is by my anointing it is not by power it is not by might. Sir, haven't you seen, I've seen, I'm a pastor, I have seen an extremely beautiful lady that will come and stand before pastor, pastor, pray for me, I need a man to marry. I have, there was one man I prayed for, huge man, when I say, this is lady's choice, I've never seen a lady in the place of prayer that you ask, what kind of man are you trusting God for that will say short, one can see one, can see short men. Have you been following that short men? I've never seen any lady that talk about short men. <laughs> and this is a message. It's true now. Go see me, oh body. I bet it's body. They are always talking about what? Tall, handsome, six packs. She will she come here? I've been coming here for years. And this guy stood in front of this altar and he burst into tears. Eh? He says, sir, pray for me. Anytime I propose to a woman that please will you marry me, that will be the end of the relationship. Chiseled by trial. And renounce self and skillfully and godly wisdom and soundness. Now, give us the message Bible to summarize that point. Message, thank you. Is this same, the same? No, this is amplified. Message Bible. Hmm. This talk up for flat on their faces. But down to art people stand firm. To gain wisdom, you must. What did I call that second point? Allow yourself to be taught. You know, at times when people come to see me for counseling, I'm trying to counsel them, counsel them. They are trying to counsel me. I always keep quiet. Oh, Tony, you came for counseling and you are trying to counsel me. Mumanda Kenny. Hey, yes, sir. You see, I know that I, no, I'm not supposed to come for prayer because I know that there are one or two things that I'm doing as uh, I know it may work very soon, but I'm still praying. I just want you to just join me in prayer. Uh, though it's not that I really need that prayer because I know that where, why that job did not come to me is because I did not read very well. Uh, whenever they talk, keep, come to me like that, I just keep quiet. By the time they finish, are you true? God will help you. You know why, what I mean? When you are ready, you will come back. Allow yourself to be taught. Proud people don't get wisdom. 
That's why I always tell our young people, don't be fighting over age. The person that has wisdom may be younger to you. If you are proud, you will despise the person because of age. Don't be fighting over border, auntie. It is in Nigeria, Africa, Yoruba land that those things freak us. Especially our Yoruba. marriage <laughs> And number three, what can I do to gain wisdom? Number three, submit for impartation. Deuteronomy 34 verse 9. Submit for impartation. Wisdom can be imparted. Show me Deuteronomy 30, 39, 34 verse 9. Look at how Joshua received wisdom. Deuteronomy 34. I'm waiting now. Verse 9. Let's read together. One, two, three, and let's go. Joshua, son of Nun, was filled with the spirit of wisdom because Moses had laid his hands on him. Wait for me. I didn't say get wisdom by laying of hands. So hear me. A person can lay hand on you and nothing will flow. Do you know what it means to impact? Impartation can only happen when you have respect for grace. Impartation can only happen when you have respect. I was listening to uh, Apostle, Apostle Selma four days ago. He was just talking about the anointing. And I picked something from his message. It's just like a three minutes clip. I saw it on, on social media. That a man of God always come to church. He will pray and preach and bless people. And people will come. People, members were always testifying. But in his family, there's no testimony. Members, we come, praise God. Daddy said this, I went to do it. Daddy prayed for us, I gave him. Daddy did this and did this. Daddy did that, you know. Then one day, he, we got back home. Sat down. And his wife came to kneel down in front of him. Honey, you are welcome. Ah. He said he was shocked. The wife removed his shoe. Ah. Kilo shele. Are you ready to eat? He said, yes. He said, then the wife... Went to the kitchen and was bringing food. He said when he saw the kind of plates and the packaging, he was wondering whether there is a guest. Or maybe this food is not for him. There is a guest that his wife wants to use to surprise him. He said they now put the food in front of him. The wife now knelt down and said, Honey, you have always been praying for the members. And they all have testimonies. He said, but the Lord said to me, that because I do not see you as my pastor. I only always see you as my husband. That if I don't treat you as my pastor, the oil on your head will not change my life. So now you are not, I'm not seeing you as my husband. Now you are my pastor. And he presented the food. The man of God said, ah, the thing touched him. He started raining blessing upon his wife. It was not up to one month. Miracles started happening in her life. Impartation, hear me, is not just by laying of hands. It's when you recognize the anointing of the anointed. When you do not allow familiarity. You know, some of you have become so familiar. She be pastor, Wani. Ah, pastor, Wani. You are blessed, and you know you are blessed, sir. Huh? 
I, that's why I always tell most of you about ushers. When service is on, don't be staying out. Don't be wa walking around outside. It's despise. You will never see me. Once a service starts, me, I'm, I'm coming straight to God's presence. You know why? God taught me this. He said, look at the, the field of play. You know, they use white, white chalk. White, uh, 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 let's say, paint. To paint where the field is. Anybody that is not on the pitch, when the referee blow the whistle, is not part of the service. It's not part of the football. The match. Whatever they are doing out there doesn't count. That's why you see that once the service starts, I move. Because God told me that pass, it's a personal revelation I had. Don't allow the spirit of despise to make you to begin to lose out. When Joshua was being laid hand upon by Moses, the spirit of Joshua already respect the anointing of Moses. That's why it could flow. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May you receive the spirit of wisdom today in Jesus' name. Now we have eight prayer points. Please listen to them. I have scriptures for each of them. Okay, there are three or four that doesn't have one, two, three. Okay, that doesn't have scriptures. But that number one, there are three prayer points under it. In Exodus 28 verse 3, let's look at our first prayer point. And what's the prayer point? You will call the spirit of wisdom to come upon you. It was from Exodus 28 3, I discovered that there is a spirit of wisdom. It's not the Holy Spirit. Because if you look at it in Exodus, it was written with small s. Anywhere you see Holy Spirit is with big S. Now let's read together. One, two, and let's go. Consult with this. No, no, no. Give us the message Bible. I'm oh, sorry, the King, uh, King James Bible. Exodus 28, verse 3. Are we set? Let's go. One, two, three, and let's go. And thou shalt speak unto all that are wise-hearted. Whom I have what? Filled with what? The spirit of wisdom. There is the spirit of wisdom. When this spirit of wisdom is in your life, even you yourself will know. Let's call for it. Because the Bible says, at the mention of the name of Jesus, every nation. So whatsoever we, we declare in the name of Jesus, it happens like that. Let's be on our feet. Say after me. Spirit of wisdom. I call you in the name of Jesus. Come upon me. Begin to operate in my life. Open your mouth and begin to turn to prayer right now. Begin to pray. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Begin to call for the spirit of wisdom now. Call for the spirit of wisdom. Call, call for the spirit of wisdom. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to call for the spirit of wisdom. Let me hear your voice. 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 Let me hear Come into my life right now. Come and dwell in my life. You spirit of wisdom. In the name of Jesus. I call you into manifestation. In my life in the name of Jesus. Even in the Old Testament. They, have had, they had access to the spirit of wisdom. Beloved, you are in the new era. The era of grace. Begin to call for the spirit of wisdom. Call for the spirit of wisdom. Lord, I call for the spirit of wisdom. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Now look up. Does it not bother you at times? You will see a pastor living upstairs. He's struggling with his wife. And you will see a Muslim living downstairs. Enjoy his marriage. You will even see an unbeliever living at the other flat. Wisdom is a spirit. That's why you see here in the Old Testament, they have it. 
Now, there are two strange spirits you are going to cast out before you are going to now cover the spirit of wisdom again. The first one is the spirit of pride. See after me? I cast out of my heart. I didn't hear you. The strange spirit of pride in the name of Jesus. Get out of my heart right now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to cast it out right now. Begin to cast it out right now. Begin to cast out the strange spirit of pride in the name of Jesus. Are you praying? Are you talking to the Lord? Cast it out now. You strange spirit of pride. Get out of my life. Cast it out, cast it out. Cast it out. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. In Jesus' name we pray. The second one. Say after me. I cast out of my heart the strange spirit of foolishness. Ah. Emiago. Unangpe ni strange spirit of foolishness. Okan go. She bought that yoke, Bernie. I look on Gosse, and but I go go and see go go. You see, after me, you strange spirit of foolishness, get out of my heart now. Get out, 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 out of my life in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Yagada Barabas, Shagada Baskin, you strange spirit of foolishness. Legibos, get out of my heart now, out of my life in the name of Jesus. Get out, get out, get out. Reke de bosa, shakada bara, basa kile maskene, lege de basa tayara, ranga yara bara bas, shakada baskene de bosa, yagada bara baske, yagayara basi, langada bara bas. In Jesus, mighty name we are prayed. Then take number four, Exodus thirty-six one and two. Exodus 36, 1 and 2, you will pray, fill my heart with wisdom and understanding, O God. Show me. Exodus 36, verse 1 and 2. I want us all to see it. Let's read together. After the count of three. One, two, and three. Then, Rod Bezali and had Aholiab and every wise hearted man in whom the Lord have put what? Wisdom and understanding to know how. You say, Father Lord, say after me. Heavenly Father, fill my heart with wisdom and, and understanding. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare. Let's begin to declare. Let's begin to declare. Begin to declare in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, fill my heart with great wisdom, with understanding in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Shagada basken de rebosa, reke de gada 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 basataya with great wisdom. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name of prayer, we don't have all the time. Number five in Second Samuel chapter fourteen verse twenty, you say I received the wisdom of angels. Show me this. It was said about King David. Second Samuel fourteen twenty. Let's read together. One, two, and let's go to fetch about this form of speech. Had this thy servant Joab done this thing, and my Lord is wise according to the wisdom of what an angel of God. That my my master is wise according to the wisdom of an angel of God. Ah, Badua, for I me, say after me. Are you said? I begin to operate in the wisdom of angels of God. In the wisdom of the angels of God. In the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray for ourselves. Let's begin to pray. I begin to operate in the wisdom of the angels of God. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. No more, no more uh, uh, the wisdom of men. I, I move above the, the, the realms of the wisdom of men. I begin to operate in the wisdom of the angels of God. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Legada baba basene, shakada baba baba bas, leguri ada bas kendere, rakaya ada bas kendere, basata yanga ada bas kene, shakaya ada basi, 
Alagadabas. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Prayer point number six. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 15. My life will not be robbed of the fruit of wisdom. How can you be wise and, and you are poor? Poverty is a sign of foolishness. But look at this woman in the this man in the Bible. Look at this. Let's read together. One, two, three, and let's go. Also, no, 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 no. That, that's not the scripture. 9 11. 9 15, sorry. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 15, not verse 6. Now let's go. One, two, three, and let's go. Now there was found in it a poor wise man. Is it possible? Uh, if you are wise, your life should show. But this man was wise and poor. Which means his life was robbed of the fruit of wisdom. Are you said, if you enter a wise person's house, you will know. You know, when people come to our church at a level, you are coming there October 1st. When they move around, they say, Ah, our pastor is gone. Paul is a cobby. Paul is a she. I've taken so many pastors there. That's their call. I remember when we were looking for where to build the toilets, the, the, the mass toilets, where the, every people can use. And my wife were thinking, we, we, we went there with some people. Oh, the toilets. My wife just tapped me, honey. Let's go to a level. I saw something. We got there. He said, ah, can't we use here? I said, wait, let me call the engineer. When I called the engineer, he was shocked. The four toilets needed came forth. When we were looking for water, they said, ah, Elebu is a, is a land sitting on mountains. Even Boho, Boho, Boho at Elebu doesn't have water. There's one Boho opposite our house now. They, they are digging well. These people are digging well now. Because they see that what we have is well. We follow their, 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 their instruction. Those people's instruction. Ausa came. We said, we look for where we can get water. Ausa went to the backyard. I said, Ruwa, I go there here. Ruwa, I go there here. We dug seven feet. We saw a mighty mountain. I said, now chizu. He said, no chizu. I said, now what? He said, now bomb. We boot, bow. We blast. I say we blast. You see water? He said we blast again. We don't see water. We blast again. We don't see water. We blast again. We don't see water. We blast again. I say what about the building here? He said if he fall. If he fall. And we blast. <laughs> I say a book. He said sir. No blast. And you know sure what are good. He said I don't know. We blast. If water did. If water no day, We blast. Ah. We know blast. But I and my wife just joined our hands together. We prayed. We just moved towards another place. And we just called the man. Come and dig here. We got to seven rims. In fact, when they got to five rims, I said, go to seven. That's what we are using till today. So, when there is wisdom in your life, it should show. This man's life, it shows that one jaluli ni se. On shishe lo juaye, and one kan bairi e ni noemi. Say after me. My life will not be robbed of the fruit of wisdom. In the name of Jesus, shall we begin to pray? Begin to pray for yourself. Yagadaba se. Lenge de ge de ge des. Basata yagadaba skenderebos. My life shall not be robbed of the fruit of wisdom in the name of Jesus. Which means there shall be proof of wisdom in my life. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Ah, pray. Now let's now pray for the proof of wisdom. First Kings chapter 3, verse 28. Let your wisdom, O God, be seen in all that I do. 1 Kings 3.28. Let your wisdom be seen in all. Which means when people look at what they are, ah, ah, 
you are wise. Let's read together. Are you there? First Kings 3 28. 1, 2, 3, let's go. And all Israel heard of the judgment which he, the king had judged, and they feared the king, for they saw that the wisdom of God was in it. They must see. Ah, only one repay or gone long. They saw the that wisdom. People must see wisdom in your life. You know, when they see wisdom, they will expect you. That's why the Bible says, all Israel feared him. There's nobody in this land, these 20-something years, that have been a pastor, that will say, Pastor Prince, we say, call him on phone. I'm telling you, I'm, you know, they, watch, they are watching me online. We have members all abroad, everywhere. Who see and to a lab broad to money, eh, member to a lab broad to money, and eh, look past Papa Quimio, about Quimio, on broke you. Mosendio was in one. Kushelleri. Yet, we are progressing. How is God doing it? Is his wisdom. You know what? He tells me what to do at every given time. Say after me. How many of you want to enjoy that kind of grace? Say, let your wisdom, oh God, be seen in all I do. In the name of Jesus, shall we begin to pray? Check your Ogma Olorun. Come and Farah. Ni ongbo boti mo nse lati o ni lo. Ogma Olorun Farah. Let your wisdom be seen in all I do from today in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Regada bababas. Shagada baskende le bos. Regede basata yanga da baskende. Basata yanga da ba. Regede basata ya. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And amen. Then finally, 1 Kings chapter 4, verse 30. Let me excel in wisdom, O God. Uluamu me tayon in wogma. 1 Kings chapter 4 and verse 30. Can we read together? One, two, and let's go. And Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the east country and all the wisdom of, e of Egypt. Are we said to pray? Let me excel in wisdom on every side, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Shall we begin to pray? That's the last prayer for tonight. Let me excel in wisdom. Let me excel in wisdom, O God. Begin to pray. Regada ba 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 se. Ringada ba sata ya ragada ba ya gada ba skene. Yangada ba se ne lebos. Shangada ba rabas. Yagada ba skene ne lebos se. Lengada ba rabas. Shagada ba skene ne lebos. Yege de ba skene ne lebos sa. Raka ya rababas. Ba se ne lebas skene. Yangada ba se ne lebos, shagaya ba se ne lebos. In Jesus' name, we pray. Sorry, let's quickly finish it. There are three prayer points I wrote on this uh, manual. We didn't use it at all. You quickly take them. The first one says, "I rebuke the oppression of the spirit of error from my life." In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to rebuke it. Begin to rebuke it. I rebuke the oppression of the spirit of error from my life. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke it in Jesus' name. Begin to rebuke it right now. I rebuke it right now. You spirit of error. You will not succeed to operate in my life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you father. In Jesus name of prayer. Take number two. Say I receive now. Fresh baptism of the spirit of wisdom. And I begin to walk in divine wisdom from now. In the name of Jesus. Turn it to prayers. Turn it to prayers. I receive now the fresh baptism of the spirit of wisdom. And I begin to walk in divine wisdom from now in the name of Jesus. Divine wisdom is operation, is in operation in my life. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name of prayer. Lastly, say, let your wisdom attract to me men and women of great wisdom, O God. In the name of Jesus, shall we begin to pray? Begin to pray. Let your wisdom, O oh God, attract to me men and women of great wisdom. 
I begin to walk with men and women of great wisdom, O oh God. Let your wisdom, let your wisdom attract them to me. Let your wisdom draw them to me. Thank you, Father. It is done in Jesus' name. As your pastor, I prophesy and pray over you today. Receive the impartation of divine wisdom now in the name of Jesus. By faith, I lay hand upon you. You are baptized afresh with divine wisdom to excel where others are struggling in the name of Jesus. By the wisdom of God, ways shall be made for you. It is well with you. In Jesus' name I pray. And amen. Put your hands together. Celebrate what you have received. I have divine wisdom.